what's more fascinating than witnessing how sand applied with heat can turn into beautiful glass pieces. In today's Lord Gizmo video, we will take a look at how glass is made from sand. But before that, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more related videos. Of course, the first step of this process involves gathering the raw materials. In similar processes, the main ingredient is silica sand and other essential components like soda ash, limestones and other additives. The sand needed is collected from this site. Before processing everything, a trained worker will check the appearance and condition of the sand. Then, it will be moved to the next step using conveyor belts. The sand will be funneled through these machines onto the next. Although sand particles are relatively smaller, they are still prone to having impurities and unwanted debris. To remove these, the collected silica sand is washed with water. Since we are looking at the process inside a large facility, they use these huge machines with water sprays to make the whole step efficient and easier. The use of water helps in removing large debris, clay particles and organic matter from the sand. In some facilities, they even go to another level by using other techniques like agitators, screens, and gravity-settling tanks. Regardless of what method is used, removing the impurities is the goal of this step. For the most part of this process, machines and technology are already used. This facility has several systems and connections that make the flow of things smoother. In fact, these machines also have different monitoring tools and screens to help ensure a consistent movement and process. Despite these technological advancement, the workers in this facility still manually start them. They also need to monitor everything physically to make sure that nothing goes wrong. These machines are the same ones that help the sand move to the next step. After a while, the sand will already be clean and prepared. However, since they used water, it will be moist or wet. This is not the proper or optimal state of the sand you would want there's just so much water in the sand. To fix this, the processing facility allows the washed sand to go through a screw classifier. This is a special machine made for glass manufacturing and it helps separate the sand from the water after the initial washing process. You can somehow see how it works just by looking at it, but let us explain to you its mechanism properly. First off, the sand slurry, or the sand mixed with water from the initial washing step, enters the machine. From the top part, which is the washing area of the sand, the slurry goes down to the bottom of the screw classifier. After that, this large rotating screw will move the slurry upwards along an inclined trough. During this whole upward movement, the water and lighter impurities are forced to flow over the edge of the trough due to gravity. Meanwhile, since the sand is heavier, it will be left in the screw and carried upwards. There will be a lot of water and sometimes even small impurities that will come out of this step. So, it is important that this machine is built with a mechanism that helps these water and impurities exit. The screw classifier is connected to different outlets responsible for waste management. For the most part, the machine does all the work in this process, but workers still need to monitor the whole thing to make sure that there are no blocks or mishaps. The concentrated sand particles reach the top of the trough 
and are discharged into a separate container. Speaking of concentrated sand particles, they will be pushed over to the edge of the machine. It is very fascinating how a wet slurry like this can turn into fine sand. The excess water will be channeled to a different outlet so it does not get in the way of the clean sand. On the other hand, the sand will be moved upwards via a conveyor belt. This is in preparation for stockpiling them as they wait for the next step. Although it may seem like there will be a lot of wastewater during this process, do not worry because everything is accounted for. This facility has already built its own mechanism of making sure that it does not disrupt the environment, but at the same time still get the job done. Of course, the process does not just stop there. As you can see, there is still a lot of water and some impurities left even after the initial washing. So, the sand will go through another wave of washing again. This is to ensure that only the sand and no other debris is mixed up, but this time the sand will be exposed to water after it has been through a screw classifier. Most of the facilities do this for a number of reasons. One of them is to remove all the debris, clay and organic matter. If they are using heavily contaminated sand, it is necessary to wash it twice to remove all the unwanted debris completely. They might also do this to reach the desired purity level. There are different levels of glass sensitivity and some of them require extremely pure and double washed sand. While additional washes increase purity, they also add time and cost. Facilities strive for a balance, sometimes using a two-stage process if it offers the best combination of purity and efficiency for their specific needs. Through the help of these channels for water, the sand will be washed and unwanted debris is removed without wasting too much sand. This washing process is essential to ensure the quality and clarity of the glass produced. Interestingly, the purity of the sand used directly impacts the transparency and color of the final glass product. For instance, high quality white silica sand is often preferred for producing clear glass, while sands with iron oxide impurities may result in green tinted glass. This attention to detail underscores the precision required in glass manufacturing and highlights the importance of sourcing the right materials for producing different types of glass. As you can see, even with the initial washing, there are still a lot of impurities and debris left. This is why an effective and efficient second washing is needed. Just like what happened during the initial washing, the sand needs to be drained out of water. This will ensure that the facility only processes the sand in its optimum state. This is done through the help of another screw classifier. It basically does the same thing as the previous one. But in this step, 
The workers need to make sure that all water and unwanted debris are removed since this will be in preparation with the glass manufacturing. After that, the sorted out sand will be stored using the stockpiling method. Then they will just lie and wait for the next step. Eventually, the processed sand will be transferred to the glass manufacturing facility. It is important to know that in some facilities, they also use recycled glass to form another glass product. Regardless of what the material may be, these will go through melting. The prepared mixture, called the batch, is loaded into a furnace and heated to extremely high temperatures, around 1500 degrees Celsius. This intense heat melts all the ingredients, transforming them into a molten glass liquid. The molten glass is then shaped into its final form depending on the desired product. There are different forms of glass depending on what the facility makes. Then, the formed glass is cooled down rapidly, but not too quickly through the controlled cooling process, called annealing. This process relieves internal stresses that could cause the glass to crack. Then, they are finished and prepared for market distribution. This has been Lord Gizmo, and we hope you learned a thing or two. Before you leave, please don't forget to show this video some love by giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we have new uploads. You can also tell us in the comment section what videos you want us to feature next. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.